let me introduce you to one, one of this character. Everyone uh, knows this character? Yes. This is a genie. Genie right? Baba. I always wanted a genie in my life. So he can, can fulfill all my wishes. Yes. Fine? So, I have some good news for you. Everyone sitting here and everyone not sitting here has got a genie in his life, his or her life. What's the bad news? The bad news is we are not using it the right way. Fine. Let's first try to find out who this genie is. Any guesses who this genie is? For all of us, let me give you a clue. Now any guesses? The mind is not the genie, the mind is the lamp. The, the genie is the universe. Okay. Oh. Amused? Okay, let me let me take you through a journey back to school. Let's go back to school. We all have read this Newton's first law. What's it Newton's first law? Any body at rest will remain at, remain at rest unless until some force is applied to us. I'll give you some analogy. You know that husband is lazing around and the wife is giving a push. <laughs> Fine. Back to school part two. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, which means. If I slap, I get slapped back. <laughs> and sometimes harder, not equal. <laughs> okay, back to school part three, escape velocity. Does anyone know what this escape velocity is? See, escape velocity is, see, we are all, we are all attracted by gravity. When I throw a ball up, it comes down. Scientists found out that if we throw anything at a particular speed and velocity, it escapes the gravitational pull and goes into the space. And that's how spaceships are launched. That's how the Satellites are launched. Fine, you have to escape the gravitational force. Fine, so back to school part four. What is our body made up of? This is biology. Body is made up of organs, organs are made up of cells, cells are made up of molecules, molecules are made up of atoms, which are electron, neutron, proton. What is electron, neutron, proton made up of? Nothing. Atoms. No. 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 Scientists found out that this is called quark. Quark is the smallest particle in the universe. The smallest particle of the universe. And you know what is quark made up of? What is the definition of quark? See, quark looks like something like this. What is the definition of quark? Energy. Energy vibrating in space. So what's the conclusion? Where, what is the point I'm driving at? The conclusion is everything in this universe is energy vibrating in space. We are all energy vibrating in space. So whether this is chair or me or anyone else. Everyone is energy vibrating in space. Living beings are nothing but energy bodies who can think. That's the only difference between a living being and a non-living being. Right? Okay, human beings have the highest level of thinking. The highest form of thinking. And thoughts are nothing but energy waves which we send to the universe. So we are sending energy waves to the universe. And what happens when we send energy waves to the universe? What happens? Newton's third law comes into action. When I say I want this, Universe says you cannot get this. Equal and opposite reaction. And you send out. What happens when we keep persistently we keep sending thoughts? Persistent strong force. Newton's, Newton's first law of the crash. Our thoughts starts getting into motion. We start in motion. We start the motion, and then absolutely right, the escape velocity comes. When you are persistently sending thought waves, it escapes the law of gravity and goes into the space. And when it goes into space, what happens? Like this, our thoughts become our reality. Is it that simple? Let's see. How powerful is our brain? You know, scientists did some research uh, with supercomputers and, and, and brain, and they found out that more than 82,000 processes running on one of the world's fastest supercomputers to mimic, mimic just one second of our brain activity. How powerful we all are? What is the power of focus? This is a droplet. No power. This is granite, one of the hardest substances on earth. What is this, you know? This is called water jet cutting technology. A focus stream of water cuts the hardest substance like butter. Where am I driving at? Power of focus thought. 82,000 microprocessors working on a on a focus attention. Do you think what the, what the power we have? So, who doesn't want this? Who doesn't want good house? Who doesn't want good relationships? Who doesn't want health? Who doesn't want wealth? Who doesn't want a better lifestyle? 
Now, when we all have 82,000 processors working on some desire, where is the catch? Where is the catch? Where is the point which we are missing? The point is, we send 60,000 thoughts per day, approximately one thought per second. Everyone here, for the next six minutes, is sending, you know, I don't know what the calculation is all about, maybe 300, 400 thoughts. What are these thoughts? 95% of our thoughts are repetition. 95% of our thoughts are the same thoughts we speak, we think over and over again. And the bad part is, 80% of these thoughts are negative. So what happens? We are what we think 95% of our thoughts are negative. For it, so risky, all negative thoughts. Change our self-talk to change our future. Why can't we add why against it? Why can't we? And why can't we? Great, no one did it. We are the pioneers. How can I make my it? How can I afford it? You know what? In a running traffic, if we do not move, we are sure to get hit. So these are the thoughts. We change the thought process. And this is law of attraction for you. Simplify it. Everything that has happened to us was destined. Everything that will happen to us was created by us. We do not get what we want. We get what we are. Fine? So, you have all read this famous quotation from uh, Paulo Coelho. So, create your own thoughts, create a better future for us. Thank you so much.